Hello friends. In this video, we will be discussing about the concept of if else statement. This is very important concept since many such program will be using if else statement. When we need to use this simply for if else statement, whenever we need to decide operations or we need to decide some of the values based on the condition, based on the condition. For example, am I pass or fail? So it is based on the condition that if you are having marks greater than 40, then you are pass. Otherwise you are fail. Let's say another example that this number is even or odd. So we can say it is if it is modulo by 2 gives you 0, it is even, else it is odd. So when we have decisions, when we have to select options out of 2 based on the condition, we will be going for this type of statement that is if and if else. So first of all, we will be discussing about the simple if in which only if is there. Many times we used to speak statement like this. If you work hard, you will get good marks. It means, agar aap mehnat karoge, to aap achche marks la sakte ho. To achche marks to aayenge, lekin uske liye condition hai, ki aapko mehnat karne padegi. So, you can able to get good marks, if you will work hard. So, very simple, whatever we speak in English, it is just to be converted into programming language. And syntax is very simple. So what we need to do? We need to write if. Then we need to specify the condition. And if this condition is true, then what sort of things we are supposed to do with it? So let's say we are taking the example that whether the marks entered is proper or improper. Or we need to check whether it is proper or not. So for that what we have written? We have written if. So we can say if marks less than zero, it is improper. Very simple English statement. If marks less than zero means it is improper. Now we convert that statement into our syntax. What we have written if, so we have written here if, then we speak marks less than zero. So the condition is what? marks less than zero. If marks less than zero, then entered marks is improper because marks cannot be less than zero. So if this condition is true, the whole condition is true, then what we need to do? We need to print that the marks entered is not proper. So we'll be prompting a message, please enter proper marks. Okay. Suppose another example, if you want to take, we can take that number is I need to, I need to check or I need to perform the operation if the number is even. So what I will write if number modulo 2 gives me 0. If it gives me 0, then only I will be performing this operation. Otherwise, I don't want to perform. So I need to perform the operation only for even numbers. So what I'm writing, I will be speaking first. If number is even, then do this type of operations. So now we are converting that English statement into our syntax. If, so we have written if number is even. So for this condition specifies that number is even or odd. So if this condition is true, means number is even then we need to perform the operations. So the statement within these two braces will be executed when, when your condition becomes true. Okay. So this is simple if. Now we try to understand the concept of if else. When we need to go for if else, so when we have exactly two possibilities. So when we have exactly two possibilities and we need to select one out of it, then we need to go for if else. So the condition is if condition. If the condition is true, then true block will be executed. Else false block will be executed. 
very simple in result if we are just talking about the result whether i am pass or fail so there are exactly two possibilities you are pass or you are fail so if you need to formulate this thing in our program so how we can do that so first of all i will be speaking a statement in english if i'll get marks greater than 40 then i'll be pass otherwise i will be fail so very simple english statement that is to be converted into our programming so what i spoke i spoke that if i'll get marks greater than 40 so what i have written here if marks greater than 40 so if i get marks greater than 40 then i will be pass so if this condition is true then what then i'll be pass so i will be printing that student is pass otherwise otherwise means else else means if this condition is wrong if this condition is wrong then it will directly jump to the else part this statement will not be executed so either this will be executed or this will be executed if this condition is false it will come to the else part and simply it will print i am fail or student is fail because if the first condition is false then automatically second condition becomes true so if else can be very useful in the programs so when we have two possibilities again it can be work for more than two possibilities also but here we try to understand very simple concept that when we have two choices and on the basis of some condition we need to select one choice out of it then we can go for if else we take one another example whether the number is positive or negative so i can write if what we can say we can say that if the value of number is greater than or equals to 0 then it is positive else it is negative so what we used to write we used to write if the value of number greater than equals to 0 then i can write print f positive right and if this condition is false then i need not to check anything i'll directly writing else print f negative fine so in this case either this particular block will be executed or this particular block will be executed it will not happen that both the block will be executed why because if this condition is true then it will come over here and after executing it directly jump to the next line after it will skip the else part because this condition is true and if this condition is false then this part will not be executed it will directly jump to the else part so this is very simple if else statement another variants of if else like multiple if else 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 if later and so we'll be discussing in the later on thank you